everybody um so i'm back with another quick video this one's going to be a bit different as you can see um i bought this really pretty antique phone um that i wanted to use as decoration um i got it from mercari and i think i paid uh 28 dollars for it and then, of course, there was some shipping added on, but it was $28. Um, I've always wanted one of these real antique phones ever since I saw, like, a decoration one at a furniture store. It was so pretty that I always wanted one. And for some reason, I got back on the bandwagon of trying to find one. And I did a couple Google searches. There were a couple cute ones on Wish and things like that, but they were a little bit overpriced. And, of course, it would have taken a long time to get here. Uh, but on Mercari, this one was so reasonable and the real thing. I just went ahead and got it. Um, but we pulled a bit closer. And it's heavy too. It's like a real phone. Um, as you can see, it has like the cord. So if you were to mount it, or if I were to mount it to a wall and stick um, the plug, like any, I don't have home phone service just because I don't need it. Um, but if you were to stick it in, it does actually work and it'll ring like it's an actual working phone. Uh, but I just bought it for decoration. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this video is just clean it up a bit. Um, because it came, um, he bubble wrapped it really nicely. So it got here, you know, in unscathed condition. Um, it, there is some wear and tear, which I love because I want it to look like an antique phone, not like a brand new phone. And I'm just going to clean it up a bit. I don't have any like standard isopropyl alcohol. I just have that 99% and I think that'll be a bit too strong for it because as you can see, some of this gold line has already worn away and I don't want to wear the rest of it away. So I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible. Um, so I'm going to use some of these Fabuloso disinfecting wipes. And if you have not found these, they smell amazing, lavender scent. Um, I have some Clorox wipes, but I just don't want to use them. I just think they'll be maybe a little bit too strong for it. Um, I also have, of course, just my distilled water and just some cleaning pads that I'm going to be using. And I don't have any information really on, you know, when this phone was made or um, the age of it, but... It doesn't look like it's something that was, you know, made just for like a novelty item. Um, it looks like it's a real antique phone that would have been used a long time ago. It does have the real rotary dial. Listen to this. And it has the numbers and the little couple here in the middle. I don't know what this is, like a little antique picture. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know if you're supposed to write your number on it. But, see, I think that's how, it, if you, that's how it would hang up. So, if you put it down and it pulls down right here, I think that hangs it up. But here's the part here. See, it is a bit greasy. Like I haven't, of course, you know, used it or touched it much. So, that's why I want to clean it a bit. See, it is it does have a little grease in here and... A little few scuff marks, which I'm fine with. Some debris in here. Like I said, it's super heavy. It's big. Just what I wanted. And I actually was looking for a white one, and I saw some really pretty white ones. But they weren't reasonable. But when I saw this one, I loved it because white would go better with my, you know, decor of my room. But this one's perfect, so I'm not going to try to paint it or anything. You see, and on the bottom, there is a bit of information, but I didn't really look too good at it. Just gonna take another look here. Lots of, oop, oop. Lots of screws. Automatic dial telephone model D08. Manufacturing date is missing. Serial number made in Japan. Hmm. It's a little hole right here. Bell control. 
So I guess that's when it rings right here. I wish I knew when it was manufactured that would tell me how old it is or if it's just a really good like replica like if it's if it was like manufactured like five years ago but it looks like it's old school let's see what is that again model d08 let me look that up and when i look up this information it shows this phone some different color phones like this some old vintage phones but the date that comes up as far as manufacturing because there is no uh, manufacturer's date here. It actually comes up as the 40s or 50s. So it's like Japanese 40s phone, Japanese 50s phone. So this phone was made um, in the 40s or the 50s. Um, but yeah, like I said, really pretty phone. Uh, can't wait to display it. I have to figure out where I'm going to put it though. I think I'm going to put it... Um, if you look in the mirror there, like right back here, I have to move some stuff on that little card I have. But I think I'm going to just sit it right there when I move that stuff. Let's go ahead and get started with the cleanup. I'm going to take a couple out so I have them handy. Um, let me see. so good okay I'm just gonna wipe it off it doesn't look like it's taking too much oh, look at that nice shine it's getting it's gonna go all the way around the base It looks like there was some tape on it or something at the bottom down here. See, like right here. I could probably use some alcohol right there to try to get that off. I hope it doesn't strip the paint, though. dust and grime on it. It's folded in half a bit. And these um, are 99% effective at removing, you know, bacteria and things like that. And with the corona, you just can never be too safe. This bell here. It's time to retire this wipe. <laughs> the dispenser isn't quite working as it should. This is the side that has the cord. comes from two different places see there's one and then there's another I briefly thought about cutting the cords off um, I don't think I'm gonna do that though and it came all sort of tied up like this I haven't untied it or anything but the cord is super long so when I display it I just don't want the cords to get in the way so I might just tape the cords to like the side of the phone to hide them I don't want to really touch this too much I'll just leave that be numbers 
little picture to each hole. Get all of them right there. I should do that. <laughs> Just stick it in the hole and drag it around. That'll wipe everything. Gonna try to use some alcohol. Here. Clean up the foam part here. So pretty. And this gold is really nice and shiny too. Nice and clean, shiny. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside here. And I'm not worried about damaging it because the cloths, they are wet, but they're not like drenched. So I don't have to worry about, you know, water leaking in or anything like that. out whatever that is turn out too too bad let me get the bottom make sure and the, the cloth is leaving a bit of lint on it but that's okay too bad between the two cloths a little dirty but wasn't as bad as I was expecting and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the alcohol I hope it doesn't strip it bad I just want to get rid of there's like some tape residue if you look right here and right here like it had been taped up or something it's only, I think, on these parts. Let me see. 
a little right here too, but everything else, I don't feel it. Just this side looks like it. Let me try to take that off. If I start stripping it out, just stop though, because I don't want the paint to come off. And here's the alcohol. Okay. I'm gonna try to, and I'm gonna try to dilute it just a little bit with the water. Hopefully, it's gonna take some of the strength out of it. I hope. Let me try down here first. So far, so good. Doesn't look like it's taking any pain at all. But this stuff is strong, super strong. And what it's doing is getting this tape off. It's just almost like it's disintegrating it. And I hope it doesn't look dusty. Let's see. This corner right here. That's what I was mostly concerned about. Just here. What I was mostly concerned about was it removing this line here, but it doesn't look it's doing that. So I'm just gonna give it a once over with alcohol just to you know, make sure it's clean, clean. I am gonna Dilute it again, Get some water. Just wipe it gently. Okay. Doesn't look like it's hurting the gold either, so I'm happy about that. the foam part here. There we go. Looks good. I think it's all clean now. Oh, let's see. I'll probably have to see if I can find um, like a microfiber cloth to get some of the lint off that the wipes and the little cotton pads left. But it looks great. The cleaning really shined it up a bit more and I'm not going to use it but I do feel comfortable kind of just playing with it and putting it against my ear now that I know it's clean 
But there is the beautiful antique phone. So cute. I'm super pleased with it, super happy. I can't wait to display it. Um, but it's so cute. So thank you for just staying with me while I cleaned it up a bit. And you guys are great. Today is uh, the 20th, which is Inauguration Day. So Joe Biden is the president and Kamala Harris is the vice president. So uh, hopefully there are brighter days ahead. I would love to start doing, you know, some vlogging, going to different stores and things like that. But, you know, with the way the coronavirus is, my time out of the house is limited. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you each and every day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello. Oh, okay. I forgot. One moment, one moment. They wanted me to tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye for now.